Welcome to my kitchen. So for today's video, we are going to be making peanut butter dog treats. Now, full disclosure before we get any further into this video, the recipe that I'm going to be sharing with you today is not my own recipe. It is a recipe from one of my favorite dog treat books. I will also be linking in the description of where you can purchase this book if you really like this recipe and want to see what else the book has to offer. This recipe is very beginner friendly if you're new to dog baking or you're a first time pet parent and haven't done it before. Or maybe you've had a bad experience with the recipe. So I will take you step by step along the way on how I like to make my dog treats. If you are interested in more videos like this, let me know in the comments down below of what recipes you would like to see next. I have a wide collection of dog treat recipes. If you are looking for something in particular and just haven't found something you've liked, I probably have it in one of my books and I'd be more than happy to share it here on this platform and take you step by step how I do it. So before we get any further into the video, you get to come with me to the grocery store to get what we need in order to finish this recipe. So let's go. because as someone who loves to cook and bake I do follow a lot of recipes and I hate when recipes like don't give you the full truth it drives me nuts so when I initially mixed the dough it was still a little dry and I wasn't able to like make a ball so what I do is whatever the liquid ingredient is which in this case it's water I will slowly add water until I get a dough-like consistency, but it's still kind of like crumbly. Like if I roll it out, it won't, it won't hold shape and I won't be able to use the cookie cutters on it. I have added water and now it's dough-like. Now, if you add too much water by accident, you can just add a little bit more flour. Now, this part is the part where people are like, well, how much? Do like a tablespoon at a time. Yeah, see how like this is more dough-like? And the other thing is, is you don't have to tackle it all at once. So like, yeah, it made like a big batch, but we don't have to do the whole batch. I can just do a section at a time. Okay, let's get to rolling and cutting. amount of dough I will literally just like smash it and I'll just use like the end of the cookie cutter and just make like little pieces sometimes like if it's even smaller than that I'll just make it like a flat like cookie and I'll still bake it or if you want you can toss it out with this little piece I'll just like flatten it and then just put it on the baking sheet because I'm just gonna eat it anyways Oh, they're 
they're done. They have to cool off. Can you wait like 10 minutes? I promise you'll get one. Okay, so I just took the cookies out of the oven. Now we wait until they are completely cooled off before giving them to the pups. And that can range, you know, about between 10, 15 minutes. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna wait for them to cool off. Someone's ready for his cookie wait. Is it good, babe? Oh, 10 out of 10. Penelope's turn. Ready, mama? Here you go. Wait, babe. Are her dough's good, 10 out of 10? Here you go. Down. Yes, wait. You both are so good. Okay, come here. Okay, so that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you can use this recipe and try to make some treats at home with your fur babies. As you can see, they loved them. They will not leave this area because the treats are right up there. Um, so they'll get a couple more treats because they were so patient. Um, but definitely let me know if you want to see more videos like this. Like I said earlier, I definitely have tons of dog treat recipes that I think you will enjoy so let me know if there's anything you'd like to see or if you have any feedback on this video this one was a little bit more tricky for me as i needed different angles and i don't know if you know but i do all of my youtube videos um on my iphone so i don't have like this fancy equipment i'm not an influencer i don't get paid to do this this is all for fun i do this for you so i hope you enjoyed it as much as we did it was a win-win for all of us so until our next video i will see you later oh so boring Say bye. Bye. <laughs>